Hey there, this is James for James Shipway Guitar and in this video I've got a cool rock soloing tip for you. Now a lot of the time when we play a solo we feel like we're just kind of going up and down the scale. It's a bit rambling, it's a bit random and there's no real direction to what we're playing. One of the main things that causes this is that although we know the scale shape well, we haven't yet learned how to use it effectively to make music. So if you think you've got this problem, well stay tuned because I'm going to show you one of the best ways I know to get over this hurdle and start making your licks and solos sound great. So let's say I was practicing playing a solo in the key of A minor. I'm going to use this A blues scale down at the fifth fret just because most of you probably know it already. So how can we get to know that scale so well that when we use it, we're making music rather than just connecting a series of notes? Well, there's a lot of ways, but this is one of the best ways I know, and it works every time. So let's forget about the scale pattern for now, and instead, let's zoom in on two strings within that scale shape. For example, I'm going to take the D string and the G string. The next step is to practice soloing only using that section of the scale. Now, why do we do this? Because we'd never do this if we were just on a gig or something. But in the practice room, it's particularly valuable because it really focuses our attention on each little zone of the scale. So I'm gonna demonstrate that now over an A backing track, and I'm only gonna solo on the notes from this scale on the D and the G string. <laughs> You can also work through the other pairs of strings in the scale. I'm going to demonstrate it now on the G and the B string as well. And what you're going to find when you work with this exercise, it's just such a powerful way to drill down into that scale shape and discover all the cool little note combinations and bends that are hiding in there, which you can then bring out in your improvisations. <laughs> If you're going to be really thorough about this exercise, then you'd isolate each pair of strings and see what you could do on those. And you're just going to end up knowing the scale on such a deep level that when you come to play with it, you're going to have endless ideas, lots of things to use in your solo. So it is worth putting the time in here, even though it may be a bit challenging at first. So there you go. Now try that in the practice room on any scale which you want to become more proficient with and get better at using when you're jamming. Now if you've enjoyed this lesson, then you might be interested in a brand new rock guitar training course which I'm running next week. In it, I'll show you loads of powerful ways to supercharge your rock solos. There's loads of cool licks and technique tips which you can take and start using straight away. And I'll also give you the backing track which I use in the lessons so that you can practice over it. If you'd like to take part, then you can click the link underneath this video and enter your email address on the next page to reserve your seat. But hurry because it does go out in just a couple of days time. If you're too late and you missed it, don't worry, click the link below and register anyway because I'll be running it again very soon and you'll be one of the first to know when I do. So I hope to see you on the free training very soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helped you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.